God. Okay, figure 2 shows that a solid frictionless uh, cylindrical pulley with the radius 0.33 meter is used to draw water from a well. A bucket of mass uh, 1.53 kilogram is attached to a cord that is wrapped around the cylinder. We assume the cord has negligible mass and does not stretch or slip the pulley. Given that the moment of inertia of the pulley is 0 0.385 kilogram meter square. Yeah. Uh, calculate the angular acceleration alpha of the pulley and the linear acceleration A of the bucket. Oh, and then determine the tension in the cord. Okay, so actually this is like Newton's second law. Uh, you pernah belajar sudah Newton's second law kan? Newton uh, second law. You belajar uh, total force equal to m a. Okay, uh, sekarang tambah lagi satu. Total torque equal to I alpha. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, ini untuk okay. Sini ada dua benda. Ah, uh, kita dulu kita cuma tengok ah uh, block saja. Tapi sekarang ada pulley lagi. Ah, uh, ada pulley lagi. Ya, yeah? we 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 start now we have pulley samo. So okay, so we can so ah uh, we use this for maybe the 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 pail of water the pail uh, this one we use for the pulley understand and then of course we need to draw free body diagram when we do the newton second law uh, we we need to uh, for, draw the free body diagram and then um, i already explained about this uh, follow acceleration positive force opposite acceleration negative force isn't it and uh, the alpha also follow alpha positive torque. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, I can just uh, summarize these two things. So if uh, for the direction, talking about direction, if follow acceleration or follow alpha, uh, then we have a positive force or positive torque. Understand? Uh, positive force or positive force or for positive torque. Okay, so now I will, we try to do this question. Uh, let's draw the free body diagram. Yeah, let's start off with drawing the free body diagram. So, uh, draw the, uh, you know, draw the free body diagram. I, I draw the whole structure first. Actually, this is a pulley, and this is the pail of water. Okay, and then um, okay, draw all the forces. So we have the, you know, this is the weight and uh, we have tension, the string and some here, this one got tension, ah, tension, ah, the, the, there is a string wound around the pulley, yeah, wound around the pulley and, uh, and this is a axis of rotation, yeah, this is a center, uh, this is the radius, ah, okay, so, this thing accelerate downwards, okay, and uh, this one is being pulled this way, yeah. So alpha is this way. Ah, last time we neglect the pulley, isn't it? Now pulley we need to consider, okay. Pulley also has acceleration. We call it angular acceleration. The the pail has linear acceleration. The you know the pulley also have angular acceleration. Uh, okay, that's why for pulley is using total torque equal to I alpha. For pale, we use total F equal to MA. Uh, okay, so follow acceleration or follow alpha is positive for force or positive torque. Uh, so we have the direction follow acceleration, uh, the force is positive, opposite acceleration negative. Follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative. Uh, okay, uh, so that's that's it. Uh, so you must draw this free body diagram uh, uh, in your answer. Yeah, you must draw this free body diagram in your answer. Now we can make equations. I can make equations. Uh, let's con uh, start with the equations. Uh, okay, uh, this one got torque lah. Yeah, got torque. Uh, you know this is the over here. This is the axis of rotation. So this thing, if this uh, string is being pulled down. This tension will rotate this thing clockwise, isn't it? So it will experience a clockwise torque. Yeah, it will experience a clockwise torque. 
uh, yeah, you experience a clockwise stop. Correct or not? Yeah, correct or not? Uh, you experience a clock, yes, clockwise. Uh, and then uh, and this this force is ninety degree. Yeah, force is ninety degree. Okay, let's do it. Uh, so uh, we can uh, make equations for you know um, pulley. I don't know. We start with the pail. Start with the pail, and then we do the pulley. Ah, uh, okay. So okay. Now for the pail, uh, it's actually using the y component. Yeah, using the y component, right? S component. You don't have s component, right? Just the y component. Uh, so we uh, it has the resultant force in y component. So it is a uh, total F Y equal to M A. Okay. Uh, so uh, W is positive lah because follow acceleration. Tension is negative because opposite acceleration. Uh, so so W is positive and then uh, negative tension. Negative tension. Okay, uh, equal to M A. Understand? Uh, the weight is M G lah. Huh? Uh, so do you have the mass of the pail? Yeah, you have the bucket. Uh, one point five three kilogram. So uh, that is the mass for here. Uh, and then tension. We don't have the tension. In fact, we want to find the value of tension. Uh, acceleration also don't have uh, so you substitute lah yeah so we can uh, we have two unknown here we have tension and acceleration we don't know the value so we need to do the pulley okay and then do the simultaneous equation so over here we use what we use what pulley we use what pulley we use what total torque equal to i alpha understand uh, so total torque equal to I alpha torque. Uh, how many torque we have? Only one torque lah. Yeah. Uh, so here got tension and here got uh, force. So how to get the torque actually? Yeah. How to get the torque? Torque actually is you know, uh, F R sine theta, right? Correct or not? F R sine theta. Yes. Uh, yes. Do, you, do you understand what is F R sine theta? Yes, sir. F sine theta actually is the perpendicular component. Ah, so it's actually like R multiply with F sine theta. Yeah, or R multiply with the uh, perpendicular component of force, isn't it? Uh, perpendicular, uh, perpendicular component of force you understand what's the symbol of this <laughs> perpendicular component of force lah yeah uh, perpendicular component of force so um so what is the r r is the radius lah uh, r is the radius here uh and then uh and then what's the force the tension the tension is the only perpendicular force isn't it yes uh so it's the tension uh so just write it down so it's actually uh, R multiply tension. Uh, R multiply tension. Or you want to put sine 90 also can because it's 90 degree with the R. Yeah, tension is 90 degree to the R. So actually it's uh, tension sine 90. Uh, tension sine 90. But sine 90 we know is equal to 1. Sine 90 equal to 1. So it's actually R multiply tension. Uh, okay. So over here we have uh, so here we have the TR uh, or RT uh, yeah oh it's RT and this uh positive or negative top is this positive or negative top this top is positive or negative uh, how to know positive or negative positive positive because it follow acceleration isn't it Yes. If follow acceleration, uh, follow acceleration, then it's ne uh, positive torque. If opposite acceleration, then it's negative torque. I give one example of negative torque. Let's say I have a, you know, I have a pulley 
uh, let's say uh, I have let's say I have two this system I have two talk let's say I have over here and over here you know uh, I pull here uh, F1 I pull here also F2 uh, both of them have same radius uh. okay uh, so tiring to explain things so acceleration let's say this direction so we know that follow acceleration is positive opposite acceleration is negative okay i want to ask you uh which torque is positive um so here we have one torque uh here we have another torque isn't it uh this this force will rotate it clockwise correct or not yeah uh so this Top one is uh, positive. Understand? Top one is positive. Uh, top one is uh, po uh, positive. Uh, positive that uh, is uh, actually R multiply R multiply F one uh, F one sine sine ninety or just uh, because uh, F one is already perpendicular component. Uh, so just multiply T one. Just multiply F one. Okay. And then how about top two? Talk two is, ah, uh, talk two is what, ah, uh, negative negative talk because opposite this you know axis of rotation is at the center here axis of rotation at the center so this force will rotate this thing anti clockwise correct or not, but anti clockwise, ah, uh, but you know alpha is uh, clockwise so if anti clockwise is opposite direction, ah. Huh? Uh, so talk to is a uh, negative understand talk to is negative so it's negative talk to is negative uh, uh, r multiply f2 understand uh, so if let's say this question i want to find the total talk the total talk equal to i alpha uh, then how do i do how do i do uh, then i put as uh, you know uh, talk one is positive and then negative uh anyway uh just put this as um, you know just put as a positive first uh, and then this one i put uh plus a, a negative top to uh like that understand yes ah uh, because top two is a uh, you know in the opposite direction of alpha ah uh, ah uh, yeah ah uh, because you know i because this one same direction this one this one opposite uh, this one opposite uh, opposite okay this one same direction uh -huh, okay so top one is so same that same direction but top two is opposite uh, so so the equation becomes further on it becomes what it become uh you know this one become f uh uh it become uh R F one and then negative R F two equal to I alpha. Uh, that's how I do. Has that's, that's how we do it. That's how we do the question. Okay, that's how we apply Newton's second law in rotational motion. Last time you learned about linear motion. Now you have the privilege to learn about rotational motion. It's the same thing. Follow acceleration. Follow A or follow alpha. We have positive force or positive torque. Uh, if if opposite if opposite uh, then be all become negative negative understand uh, all become negative that's that's it uh, that's it understand uh, understood okay so let's continue so this one this uh talk is of course positive talk yeah this this talk is a positive talk because uh follow acceleration so okay 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 so let's continue let's continue so r multiply t uh, we have the talk and then uh, equal to i alpha I, a, I alpha do we have the i here we have the i yes we have the moment inertia of the pulley uh, this is the this is the i of the pulley uh, so that there's the i for the pulley over here okay uh, that is the I for the pulley and R we have the radius yes 0 0.33 meter radius good do we have a uh, tension we need to find out alpha we don't have the alpha uh, how how this equation got a 
the, the uh, so we don't know tension, we don't know acceleration. This one also we don't know tension, we don't know alpha, right? Uh, the rest we know, right? Radius and the uh, moment inertia of pulley we know, isn't it? So how uh, how how to relate these two? How how ah uh, how uh, you know that a and alpha? What's the relationship? What's the relationship? Tell me, what's the relationship? A is R alpha. <laughs> Write it for you. A is R alpha. Correct or not? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so you can. Uh, uh, we need to find what? The question asks us to find alpha and A, isn't it? And also find the tension. I want to find alpha, I want to find. Want to find alpha A and tension. So you can either, you know, you can either substitute this one become uh, R alpha or you can substitute this one become what? Uh, alpha is uh, A over R. Uh, understand? Either one. Uh, maybe you, you alpha you substitute with A over R. Uh, then you can do, uh, you can do simultaneous equation already, isn't it? Then you can find A first. I can find A and find tension first. After that, I can find alpha. Correct or not? Once you got the A, you can put it back into this equation. Can find alpha. Correct or not? Yes. Uh, or this, you want to substitute A with R alpha. Yeah? Substitute with R alpha. Uh, then you find alpha first. Yeah? Find alpha and tension first. And then once you got alpha and tension, uh, you can get the A uh, by substitute substitute the alpha back into a equal to r alpha you can get the a uh, then you can solve the question a and b you can find a you can find alpha you can find tension we need three answer here boleh ka semua boleh ah boleh baguslah boleh boleh baguslah ya saya rasa aman lah ya saya rasa aman dan uh, itulah Okay, mari kita tengok soalan Dark Hill. Sudah boleh soalan ni boleh buat? Boleh, sir. Bagus. Okay, saya nak stop recording.